Where we are, we're just we kind of probably have to move along with like an eviction process of some some sort. There you go, rolling. You got it. You get another glamour shot of the backyard. You can see that there's no window like right there, and this dog like we can't go in the backyard because there's a dog that will jump out and try to kill us. So we called this tenant, and we're like, hey man, what's going on? The, the guy, you know, he's like denying it for a little while, but finally the guy admits that he gets really drunk, and he gets so drunk he passes out on his couch and just shits his pants. This is every day. He tells us that he just stacks his pants in the corner of his apartment, just filled with poop. Okay. Walking into an apartment that contained a tenant that the landlord was not able to evict thanks to uh, Ned Lamont's eviction moratorium. That's we're gonna, when we're gonna I give started seeing the butcher knife. <laughs> and uh, took a lot of bugs out hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. So we're there with the managers. No. Just, we just got a report there's a lot of people kind of squatting in here. Yeah, we kicked out the squatters and we're gonna add a lock, but Holton Wise. Like, he's just telling us, like, it's, you know, like, it's normal. So we're like, all right, man, uh, that needs to stop. Don't use our washing machine to wash your pants out, because that's gross. Very nice. Busted window. Paint everywhere. Oh, that's lovely. These carpets were brand new. That's we're gonna, we're gonna give it to you. And uh, took a lot of bugs out, hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. You guys, the owners? You know, just manage it. Oh, your managers? Okay. Does he have people been staying in the basement? Yeah, the guy came out the other day, stole his van. My dad lives right there, I left the key, and I went for one minute, jumped in, took off. The cops found it in five minutes. But yeah, you gotta do something, man. Yeah, that's, that's what we're, we're here, here trying for. to figure it out. You know, take him to the laundromat down the street. So a couple days go by, I get a phone call, and someone uh, is like, someone pooped in the, uh, the by the front door, and it goes down the stairs. So I'm like, great, that's great. There you go, rolling now. Got it. Your kids are trying to buy it. The hardest thing to take. This tenant lived here since January of 2020, rent free. And we finally were able to get him out with the help of the marshals a few days ago. This is all stuff like I, when I was, when I was sitting here, I looked at it a little bit, I just kind of moved and I just left the system for the truck. You know, like my truck and then door. To put it in a little my truck with like a bed and stuff. That's what I'm gonna take this to my grandpa's next door. It's in the middle or something. It's my grandma that lives next door. I actually like, um, that hurts just like I'm busy my grandpa, you know? Well, that's fine. So, there's only one more thing I need to do. There's like a plate of food right there that I wanted to grab. It's her plate. Thank you guys. Great, God bless you man. Thank you. Stole the fucking van. What a real piece of shit. Ballsy. Right? So you looking as ashy as me today. Yeah, I am ashy. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Me neither. So that's how you know we washed our ass. That's why I'm ashy. Clean? Right. Looking at about 15 to 20 grand just to uh, 
get it decent enough for another tenant. Let's open a couple windows, maybe, you know, just for your guys don't fuck. Guest appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Apartment. And I pay the rent every month. She ain't lacking on shit. Um, I go to the apartment and there's like a trail of breadcrumbs except it breadcrumbs except it's shit. And it's just like he pooped his pants and it was running down his leg and you could see like everywhere he stepped, all the way back from uh, the gas station down the street, all the way up to the front of the apartment. You know, he must have uh, filled with his key for a little bit at the front door because there's a bunch there. And when, uh, if, when we put a lock on there, we're going to give you a key. I know. But they, that key can't be that key. You see that? I didn't even know they broke the lock. Because I, I had a key two weeks ago. But I need the key now for. Right. But we're yeah. going to put a lock on there and we're going to give it to you. I came to and I <laughs> and, uh, took a lot of bugs out hoping they. Because it'd be dark in the motherfucker. All right, so. We are at the house. We just pulled up to the house. I got my crew out there. That's John. And then we got all the the court appointed movers are all here. How, how much of their belongings are in the car? Or in the house rather? Probably about 75%. No one's there. I'm expecting they'll probably come back though because Dave said they pulled off right before. Um, yeah, we thought the boyfriend was Thompson's car the whole time. Oh. Cause he kept staring at us. Well, yeah. Thompson's like, <laughs> those guys videotaping. Like, yeah, he wants to hang out in the dark. Mm -hmm. And I took the one out there too. That was upstairs when I come in, I just click it on the side over here. Mm -hmm. See, that was for my sake. Mm -hmm. Then it goes right down the stairs in his unit. I start banging on the door, I'm like, dude, come on. He's like, oh, that's not me. That's not mine. I'm like, there's a trail from point A to point B. But since these motherfuckers been coming in, oh no, I'm not in the basement, um, hot tea. They be lying to me. But yeah. no, I want you to know, set the record straight, they don't live in apartment one. Okay. Angel Cause that's the man that like the cans. Cause I got two bags of cans up there for him. This apartment was completely redone a few months before this tenant moved in. There's a bailiff right there. We have another bailiff up there. This Escalade uh, right there is actually the tenant who is currently being evicted. Uh, she's kind of just running around, screaming, wanting to know where the landlord is. Remember, this person has known that this has been coming for seven months. This person has been stealing from the owner of this property for seven months now. And, uh, you know, today is the day. She's got done talking to the bailiff. Looks like she's gonna be pulling off now. Well, you can't prove it. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I had to get the shovel out of my truck and clean poo out of the inside of an apartment building and off the sidewalk and I had to have people come and scrub it off. It was gross. So fast forward a couple weeks later, we get another phone call about this guy, or about the uh, tenant calls in and says, hey, the washing machine has shit kicked on the inside of it, and so there's a dryer. He'll wind up. You know, I, I know a lot of these people, and you know my heart goes out for them. Looks like all of them. property this is located in Cleveland Ohio so we took all of that crap out of the apartment so to get us to be allowed to do that we had to spend 750 
Then the actual cost of taking all the guys over there and removing all that crap, changing the locks, 1147 Anything that the tenant wanted or the tenant, you know, at that point, all their crap is outside, they can go to their pile of stuff and they could take it all with them. If they don't take it all with them at five o'clock, we have to go back to the property and remove all that stuff. You can't just leave crap everywhere. You'll get a fine from the city. Notice that she is driving a Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> if that isn't the most ironic thing you've ever seen in your life, the fact that this girl, seven months, giving her sob story to the bailiffs, giving her sob story to the crew out there, and she pulls off in her Cadillac Escalade. Time that is convenient for you with your schedule, and I'll send them there. Over me, I'm gonna hang up the phone. All right, I'm You're listening. Being rude as fuck. I have not met Grant. I have spoke to Grant. Joe. And stop threatening to evict us because we have done nothing wrong. Joe. It requires a 24-hour notice, right? So, like, they could do it at any time with 24 hours. hours. Glad we could work it out, and it's mutually beneficial yeah, for everyone. You're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, mission accomplished so of course go there this dude had just been like taking his like soiled clothes and sticking them in the washing machine without uh rinsing them off even though he told me not to even use our washing machine so he's like got like you know a washing machine's not designed to get like shovelfuls of shit out of your clothes you know it's you gotta, you gotta do a little pre-treatment so these poor people in the other units are washing their clothes after him and they're getting his shit on their clothes. Evictions are already a pretty stressful situation, so we do not want to add any stress to this situation. We do not want to bother the crew or get in their way. Uh, so we're gonna let these guys do their thing. I got my flashlight, I did. There's that other lock that used to be right here. I guess there's two, like, I feel like that lady's living down here for a little while. I helped my mom out upstairs. And uh, I've been cleaning the basement, but it's like, it looks like mess, but it was all clothes on top of this before. So it was even worse. A lot of it is stuff that she had stored down here. Okay. They just, like, ripped it apart, you know, so I'm trying to pick it up, clean it, and take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. And canvas. But I helped take care of the... The inside of the dryer is just caked. It's all baked in there. We had to get rid of the dryer. We had to get rid of the washing machine. Thankfully, we were able to evict that guy. But, I mean, when the, me and the bailiff showed up to evict them, I, you know, talked to the bailiff and I warned him. I'm like, hey, man, just so you know, this unit smells really bad. And, you know, the bailiff's like, yeah, right, man. How bad can it be, you know? He's done 100 evictions. He's like, oh, it's nothing. We open the door. I immediately start dry heaving because the smell just like hits you in the face like someone hit you with a shovel. The bailiff like has to like turn away the smell so bad and he's trying to talk to the guy with his hand over his mouth and the guy's just like, oh, it's not me, it's not me, it's not my smell. You got a hard working American down there in North Carolina. Tried to be the nice guy, tried not to evict her for those first three months and now he is seven months into this thing and this girl's giving her sob story as she pulls away in a Cadillac Escalade. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.